fighting We ain't giving up now Who can be satisfied with what we living in now I figure by now my songs of yesterday played out But they still run of it And it hurts somehow How come the masses still need classes It should be obvious to what they do to our asses Passes Die like a false side Hard to reach It's hard to speak Without sounding unique Black power is New Orleans Black power is you and me Black power is Celestine Black power is Cuba right on Black power ain't white Stop thinking white right on Black power is New Orleans Black power is you and me Black power is Celestine Black power is Cuba right on Black power is this The movement The umbrella That basically all of this falls under The new black arts movement Let's talk more about the different entities that exist under this umbrella because I know it's a lot of different things yes, yes. <laughs> even if you don't mention every single thing let's talk about some of the main mm -hmm. entities that exist under this umbrella of the new black arts movement right yeah cool so um, obviously we give uh, respect um, Ashe and acknowledgement to Amiri Baraka um, um, yes. so um, and also Nikki Giovanni Sonia yes. Sanchez you know the last poets um, for creating this path for us so um, the new black arts movement is reimagining, reinventing, recreating, um, honoring the legacy of the original black arts movement. Absolutely. You know, um, with that understanding that even our ancestors and um, the previous generation, obviously we didn't all get it right, right? So we have to make adjustments, Absolutely. be experimental. So with the new black arts movement, we have some new tenements, um, new things and principles that we go by, okay. um, understanding that. Uh, the original black arts movement had you know we we got to critique these in a community in a, in a real good way constructive way but it was um, misogynistic it was homophobic at times it was um, sexist you know so um, we celebrate and honor revolutionary matriarchy and right. honoring our mothers and the women in our community um, first and foremost so um, we we even think of men as being mothers um, we also think of mother earth being center you know, um, taking the same tenements of publications and independent art, which is Got what it. we're doing through hip hop anyway, but adding some of these things of indigeneity, um, seven generations ahead, seven generations behind, um, art equivalent to politics, which is also something that the original black arts movement did naturally. Absolutely. Right. Um, so these are the type of things. And one really important thing that the original black arts, arts movement did very well was focus on majority oppressed nationality leadership for self-determination true so this is where the youth work comes in you know if we're talking about the prison system we have to work with the youth to teach them that information and learn from them as well Absolutely. you know um and we try to exchange with our elders in prison who are locked behind bars political prisoners and the youth who are now going through social political prisons got it you know? got it we decided to develop something with that same spirit um a little bit more um to the present day conditions. What that means is a new black arts movement looks like this. In New York City, you'll see an internationalist community coming together under the banner of a new black arts movement. Black being a state of mind and white um, being white supremacy and ideology that we're combating. So we don't look at people saying, you're white, you're the enemy. We look at white ideology, white supremacy, capitalism, Imperialism, patriarchy, those things are synonymous, right? Not thinking of individualism, uh, individual self, and I gotta get money, and I gotta pass this exam, and I gotta I, 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 but how does your freedom affect the community? And how not to oppress the community with your freedom? How do we want the world that we live in to be? We start now.